Welcome to this video tutorial about SOUR. SOUR is a web tool for semantic annotation of WSDL-based web service descriptions. A significant part of the interface is dedicated to a tree-like representation of the service description and its annotations. Starting from a more general perspective, the service description contains an abstract interface specification with its operations and corresponding inputs and outputs. Each input and output is a message that contains one or more parameters. The parameters are specified in a separate part of the WSDL description, where they are defined in terms of XML schema types. In the service description tree, the semantic annotations are represented by separate leaf nodes attached to the corresponding elements. A model reference annotation is shown like this. The service representation view is supported by an auxiliary view at the bottom of the page. Each time the selection in the main view changes, the content here is updated with a fragment of the generated SOSDL output. The semantic models view on the left shows ontologies, which serve as sources for annotation. Each ontology is shown as a hierarchy of class nodes with green icons. The hierarchy represents class-subclass relations. Each class node reveals a set of properties and property range types. Now we will show you how to annotate a service. First, let's select the domain ontology. In this case, we will use one from our built-in storage service. However, ontologies can be loaded from any publicly accessible URI. SOUR supports ontologies expressed in RDFS, OWL, or WSML. The selected ontology is on the screen. Now we open a service description, a WSDL file that we want to annotate. As with the ontologies, WSDL descriptions can be loaded from a storage service or from any public URI. The service description is already on the screen. Now we will annotate the service interface, which in WSDL 1.1 is called port type. We just drag and drop from the ontology tree. The new annotation appears as a new node in the service tree. The preview panel is updated with the new annotation as well. An annotation can be removed by selecting the appropriate option in the context menu. SOSDL also supports lifting and lowering annotations. Here's how to annotate this XML schema. You can add a transformation by either typing its URI manually or by selecting it from a storage service. Let's use the second option. The transformation is represented in XSLT. The URI of the transformation is added as a lifting schema mapping to the selected XML schema element. Lowering transformations are added in the same way. Now we have a SOSDL description ready for publishing, for example, in iServe. With the service description open in the editor, we select from the file menu Export to iServe. Fill in your iServe user ID and password. Hit Publish, and wait for a few seconds. The service is now there, and you can see a direct link to it. Thanks for watching. For more information, please refer to soaforall.eu.